Well, hello, Freddy. How are you? Good evening. Hi, hello, Fabio. Welcome. Okay, we have Carlos here also. All right, great. Let me see this. Do, 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 do. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Hello, Jackie. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Diana. Juan Hello, Jose. good evening. Hi. Juan Jose, welcome also. Thank you. Okay. And Flor, she's joining us right now. Right. Let me see something. Okay, so yesterday I couldn't connect, and then when I tried to connect, the class had already been canceled by administration. I, I think they contacted y'all, right? Se los comentaron ellos también? All right. So uh, they called me also to let me know to cancel the class. Actually, they logged in yesterday in Zoom in order to tell us. Yeah, they. Uh, I talked to, I think it was someone from administration. He, he right? Yeah. It was a guy, he entered, and then he called me and told me that that the class will be suspended but it will be reprogrammed right and i was like oh right i know i know the majority want wanted to finish by wednesday of next week but it will be programmed for i believe they gave me a date thursday right yeah. thursday right but it will only be for the remainder of the time it won't be the whole two hours okay so don't think that you're going to stay till 10 o'clock, right? It's only till, I believe, 9.30 on next Thursday, okay? So I just want to let you know ahead of time that that, that is what happens when there's, like, repro reprogrammation of the class or a cancellation of any sort is reprogrammed automatically uh, due to INSOFO requirements, all right? And um, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. They keep track of everything, right? So don't think it's like, oh, it's just you. They track me also, all right? <laughs> so if I, if I don't complete the whole two hours, it's automatically programmed for another day, all right? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Carlos. So if it was, like, up to me, I could have prolonged it maybe past 10 o'clock and we would have finished, but unfortunately that couldn't happen, right? So I'm sorry for that. But um, they did notify me that we will uh, redo the class on Thursday on the 21st, all right, next week. We finish on Wednesday, okay? Don't think que no vamos a terminar el miércoles con la, with the with the material and stuff, because we have to do um, a survey, right, on next week, on Wednesday, but we still have to meet. Siempre nos tenemos que reunir el 21 el jueves of next week, all right? So I just want to let you know that. Now, per administration, that's how they decided to do it. And Teacher, it's going to be one hour or the two to be, hours? It's going to be... No, it's not going to be the two hours. It's going to be until 11. Yeah, it's going to be for three hours. <laughs> no, it, it's going to be from eight. Uh, it's going to be funny. 
<laughs> yeah, it's going to be fine. Déjenme decir it correctly, right? I don't want to make a mistake and then I'm going to tell you what administration sent me, right? Because they sent me a message. Está la encargada. Okay. Teacher, today uh, they called me and said that I'm that I don't that I that I didn't assist yesterday. Mm -hmm. And that's not true. <laughs> okay. Because I, I was here. They called you today. Yeah, they called me. Pero, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because uh, usted estaba present. Yes, and I told him that if he wants, he can see the the video yeah. with the the first hour, and I told him that that you lost the connection and the class finished uh, early almost uh, yeah uh, early yeah and they, and and he told me that that he's going to supervise about that okay and yeah i don't understand all, i don't understand yeah. that because uh you you're showing here yeah. so you you were connected now the people that didn't connect Lo que sí no se conectaron ayer, I know que sí le llamaron porque aquí veo rojo, right? Eh, son dos y usted no está en rojo, blanco. Okay, you're not in red according to my my uh, my platform here of, of attendance. Yeah, but they called me. Mm, that is strange. That's strange. I know they called two people. Maybe it was a mistake. <laughs> I think they tried to call the other person, right? Because the other person is showing that they did call at 10.44 this morning. No sé si como esa hora también le llaman usted. About 10 something. I'm but going to check. Yeah, it's, it, it was on the morning. There was around I, 10, 10 something, 10 y algo, right? Yeah, I'm going to check right now. Yeah, so they did, they call, I see two, two here. Yeah, I believe they, they called you, Fabio, verdad? You were one of them, right, Fabio? I did, um, um, I did not, was in this class just but they don't call me today. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm going to log off for a minute. I updating the computer and it says you need to be log off. All right, no problem. All right. Yeah, it was 10 and a half o'clock. Yeah. 10 and a half. Okay, let me see. I think that it, they call me uh, and list uh, Fabio. <laughs> they, have to, they have to call to Fabio and, and they call me. <laughs> they, call, they call someone else also, right? I'm showing here that they they tried to call. Um, I believe it was Glenda, right? But they made they probably made a mistake. Instead of Glenda, they called a, a Blanca, <laughs> Glenda Blanca. I don't know, right? Maybe it was a mistake because I'm showing for Glenda, but not for you, Blanca. All right. So, is showing Blanca? Hello, Blanca. Yeah, yeah. Y nomás para confirmarle, just to confirm, it does show the minutes. Se está reflejado los minutos de ayer. So, you don't have to worry about it, ¿ok? Ok. Porque aquí lo puedo ver yes. yo, los minutos de conectividad. Yeah, okay. and, and, and I told him about that. The, he can check the, the video or something mm -hmm. because I was there. I was here. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I know you were here. We were talking yesterday. <laughs> so if they would have asked me, I would have said, yeah, she's there and we can check the, the recording, right? We can always check the recording. But I believe it was just a, a mistake. Uh, and maybe they called you instead of the other person. Okay, Blanca? But don't worry, I can okay. see you right here. All right. And let me see. All right. So now... Um, 
just to confirm, ya que están todos aquí, just to confirm that the class by administration, they told me that we have to redo it on the 21st, okay? Eh, aquí está el mensaje, 21, eh, from 8 to 9.20, okay? 8 to 9.20, y luego los 10 minutos for extra individual for that person, which would be whoever was for yesterday, right? Yesterday was supposed to be um, Fabio. So you would stay the next Thursday, you will stay the extra 10 minutes. All right, so we're going to begin the, uh, next Thursday. The class ends on Wednesday, remember that? Next week it ends on Wednesday and we have to do a survey, but then we still have to meet again on Thursday to finish what we didn't cut, what we didn't see yesterday. Lo que faltó ayer, we have to redo it, all right? But not the whole class, okay? Para, para confirmar eso. We're not going to be till 10 o'clock, okay? Only till 9.20 and then the extra 10 minutes with Fabio, all right? So at 9.20, we will finish next Thursday. Any questions? Para quedar claro, quiero que queden dudas. I don't want any doubts or anything. Are we clear? Yes? Yes, okay. teacher. Clear. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. Yes, teacher. All right. Trust me, I tried my best yesterday to try to connect. And I do not know why, for some reason, I couldn't connect with my phone. And although it was showing connected, I was telling administration, hey, I'm connected, but it doesn't it doesn't allow Zoom to 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 turn to activate or something right and I was like oh man but either way either way it happened and ya dieron la decisión administración so don't worry we're still going to continue all right we're still going to continue now um remember that the date the date for tomorrow the platform en la plataforma las tareas en la plataforma remember que eso siempre está activo hasta mañana hasta las 12 all right now, um, I know that some of you, eh, yo sé que algunos de ustedes siempre lo hacen a último día, porque están muy ocupados o whatever, but remember that you still have to do it, okay? You still have to do it by tomorrow by 12, and if you have any questions, please contact me, all right? Teacher, esta pregunta or whatever, I will help you. Trust me, there's no... There's, there, there won't be any hesitation on my part. I will always try to help you. Y algunos que se han contactado conmigo anteriormente, ya saben, right? If you ever needed help with a platform, I was there for you, all right? So remember that. Remember that. Let me see. I'm going to share with you. But first, para aquellos que quizás digan, bueno, teacher, yo ya hice esa tarea, right? I already did homework three. I'm going to call your name, okay? Esto significa que usted ya está, you're clear for tomorrow, okay? You're clear for homework three. No se tiene que preocupar para homework three en la plataforma. Abigail. Beatriz. Blanca. Carlos. Carlos, si usted quiere aumentar la nota, lo puede, pero ahorita está bien, okay? Uh, okay, teacher. Thank you right. for, for, for telling me. Yes, Edwin. Francisco. Francisco, you are finished with everything, okay? And so is uh, Beatriz, okay? You are finished with everything. Usted ya completó toda la plataforma. Excelente, Beatriz and Francisco. All right, let me see. Freddy's. You are finished with everything. Iris, is she here? You are finished with homework three, so you are cleared. And Juan Jose, you are cleared for homework three. Miguel, are you here, Miguel? Yes, DJ, I'm okay. here. Okay, you are clear with everything. You are finished. With yes. the platform, okay? Usted no tiene que ser traer en la plataforma. And Janari. Hello, Janari. Casi se me olvidaba usted. Hola, Okay, you are clear for homework three. 
Yes. Okay. A ustedes yeah. que llamé, ustedes ya están listos por Homework 3 or you completed everything. Si no llamé su nombre, pues ya sabe quién es. Okay, you have to tomorrow. Tienen hasta mañana, hasta medianoche para completar la Homework 3 en la platform. Okay. All right. I just want to clear. All right. All right. Let me see. Let's continue. And you can always ask me, okay? Si tienen alguna duda or something, if you have a doubt in the platform, or some of you have started, okay? Si no llame su nombre es porque no ha llegado el 80% o nomás ha hecho una tarea de las cinco que hay. All right? O ninguna. Algunos han hecho ninguna. All right? So just remember that. Okay, let's continue. All right. Uh, can you read, please, Yanari? Okay, teacher. All right. Positive verb part one. Reading activity. Tuesday, October 12, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Mr. Henry, intermediate three, class number 19. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now, very good uh, as far as the pronunciation. Causative verbs. This is part one. Tomorrow we will look at part two. Okay, but the homework in the platform is very easy porque no más da dos opciones, okay? So, yo sé que algunos quizás ni han, ni, ni han abierto la, la plataforma, but please do so, okay? It's very easy, very easy to do the homeworks in the platform. And causative verbs, part one, there are two parts, all right? There are two parts. So we're going to focus on part one today, and we're also going to do a reading activity, okay? And do some practices here, and maybe create your own, and maybe do a little speaking also. So we will be just doing one thing for two hours, right? Let me continue. But before I continue, I'm going to, let me see, since the majority is here, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Let me take the attendance. Abigail. Abigail. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right, thank you. Blanca. Present. All right. Brenda. Brenda. Okay, no answer. Carlos. Just sit around here. All right, thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, great. Fredis. All right. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. Present. All right. Thank you. Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, no answer. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Juan Jose. Present, teacher. All right, awesome. So you're getting some fresh air, huh, Juan Jose? Fresh air, nice, nice. Yes, nice. Miguel. Present, teacher. Okay, awesome. Fabio. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Rolando. Okay, no answer. And Janari. I'm here. All right, awesome. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty
look at um, look at page go to the first part which is page 28 28 of your book page 28 of your book okay if you're there that's great if not then you can just look at it here on the screen um, please read Flor. Can you begin, please? Okay. Uh, look at the examples in the box, then complete the ex exercise below. Exercises. Er exercises. Excellent. Below. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Flor. Uh, you know what? You can continue, please. Please continue. Okay. Verbs make and get. Make plus someone plus bird in base form. And get plus someone plus infinity. Very good, infinity, very good, excellent. Okay, continue Flo, you're doing great. Okay. The marketing? The marketing department makes employee employees re revise, mm -hmm. revise, no, revise, revise, revise goals and metrics every month. The poor identify of the rank made people look. Oh, sorry. Okay, I changed it, the screen. Uh, let me let me help you. Okay, let me help you, Flor. I'm going to make it bigger also. Okay, is that better for you? Uh, I need yes. All right. The poor identity. Yes. Now yes. Okay. The poor ident identity of the brand made people look for the product from different companies. The brand experience offered by Samsung made co consumers prefer their mobile phones. Okay, consumers, consumers. Consumers, very consumers good. prefer their, their mobile phones. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, go ahead and finish. You're doing awesome. <laughs> okay. I can get customers to low or premium services. The project manager say it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. The advert advertising events will get people to order products online more often. All right, very good. So we have here, thank you, Flor. Thank you for your participation. Okay, we have get and make. So here it doesn't give you a lot, right? They don't give you a lot, but they do give you the structure. Okay, make plus someone plus verb in base form. This is the structure. And then when you use get, plus someone plus infinitive. Now remember when we talk about infinitive, Right, we always know that you put the two, 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 right? Then the verb, the two in front makes it the infinitive, right? You use two when we talk about get. Now, can two come before get here? Yes, it can also come here also, the two. I want to get, right? I want to get customer. You can also say it that way. Okay, I know it's not here, but I'm giving you that extra information. Two can also come before get, depending on the verb that comes before it. Now, when we have make, here you use someone. It says someone here, right? But what about um, when we, here it says companies and it's not someone, right? But it's when we talk about in legal terms, a company can be a person in legal terms, right? I don't know if any of you can agree with me. El representante de una compañía, right? The legal, illegal entity. Flor is like, yeah, teacher, you're correct, right? Flor, you're shaking your head like you know, right? <laughs> right? You, the company can also be the representative or a person, right? A legal, in legal manners. So it says make plus someone plus the verb in base form. So when we use make, we use after the someone. Now someone can be also an object. 
an object pronoun. All right, I want you to understand also that when we say someone, we can also use uh, object pronouns. Can someone tell me what? Just an example. No me quiero retroceder mucho. I don't want to go real far into maybe uh, English one or something like that, but beginner. But can someone give me an example of an object pronoun? Hello? Them. Okay. Yes. Call them. All right. Call them. Very good. Them. Another one? Me. Me. Very good. Excellent. Right. These are object pronouns, right? We they. Should... Okay. Come on. Oh, no, no. Um, eat, hair, him. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Now you're talking about him, right? Those are like object pronouns, right? Object pronouns. Her and stuff like that, right? But those can also mean someone. I'm just giving you that extra information. For example, uh, um, I can say I make him, I make him do, uh, do what? Homework or his homework, right? So I'm just giving you an, another example that here we have in reference to someone him okay him you can also use object pronouns now i'm going to ask you a question let's see who can answer me can i change the tense or tengo que usar el make como está aquí en la en el libro can i make it in past yeah, or okay and it's still a causative verb Can I make it present perfect? And still be a... Maybe, maybe you can use that because when you use, when you are using the get, uh, you can use made. Okay. That's right. All right. Yes, that is correct. All right, yes, you can use it. Can I use present perfect? Aquí dice make plus someone. But what about if I'm if I use present perfect? Is it still a causative verb? I think that maybe the sentence could be in different times. Okay. Is this, can I still use this as a causative verb? I'm just asking, okay? You, you, if you're like saying, well, I don't know, teacher, you can tell me, okay? I just want to know how much, how much you can express about this. Siempre sería un causative verb si le cambio el tense. Si utilizo el present perfect. Hmm, Claude. I'm, I'm not sure, teacher. Okay, Diana. Fabio. I think yes. Okay. Um, Freddy. I'm trying to refresh my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not going. I just want. I just wanted to ask. Okay. And I'm going to show you something. And you are correct, Fabio. All right. And those of you that say you can, yes, you can. Right. All we're doing is changing the tense, but not the objective. All right. Which all we're doing is changing the tense, but the sentence is still referring to making someone do something right so it's still the same ideology just in a different tense right whether it's past present or present 
perfect or any even future right Fabio you can still use future right and it still doesn't change the fact that you're going to make someone do something right you can say I will make uh, you can use the future simple all right I will make him do his homework What doesn't change is this, the base form. If you notice that, si pueden ver esto, these stay the same. That is the importance of the structure. You can change the tense here, right? But then at the end, this stays in base form. Okay? Now, let me clear this. So what are causative verbs? Para que se usan estos causative verbs? You probably saying with teacher, I don't know that one either, right? Okay. Now, let me show you something. Can you read right here? We're going to look at these two, okay? Make and get, right? Can you read up here, please, Beatriz? Called. Yes, teacher. Can you read up here where it says called? Okay. Call causative verbs because they cause something to happen. Very good, very good. They are called causative verbs. It's not in your, uh, no está en su cuaderno, no está en su libro, right? It's not there. But I'm giving you the purpose, el propósito. I'm giving you the purpose of this if you want to write it down, all right? Causative verbs are called, son llamados causative because they cause something to happen. That is the key here, okay? They cause something to happen. Now, when we use make, it has its, its own structure, all right? We saw the grammar structure, but let's look at the meaning. Let's look at the meaning, class. Um, Diana, can you read, please? Make. Object plus make plus person plus, ver plus base verb. Meaning, force. To force someone to do something. Example, my parents make me TV my room every weekend. Very good. Excellent. So the meaning means force when we use make as a causative verb. Okay. The meaning is force. To force someone to do something. Okay. Or you can say force someone or, or, or something, right? You can also make a, a company do something also, right? And we have an example here. What is Titi? Titi my, my room every weekend. What does this mean? T-I? To organize. Very, very good, excellent. To organize, right? Maybe the room is a mess and they tell you, hey, right, clean up. You can see the picture right here. Right, he got a little broom, right? La cobita ready to go, right? See, it means to tighten up your room, right? Clean it up, fix it, organize it, just like Freddy said. Okay, Diana, can you go to get, please? Sorry? Can you continue, please? Yes, get subject plus person plus two plus base verb, meaning convince to convince someone to do something example i can never get my parent to allow me to stay up late okay very good right here get the meaning is convince there's a difference between make and get make and get hay una pequeña diferencia there's a difference one is force someone right obligar a alguien force someone to do something Convince here is that you're like talking that person or get that person 
to do something for you, right? Convencer, to convince someone to do something. So here is the example. I can never get, get my parent. Hmm, parent. Yeah, can you say parents? Can we say parent? I think no. Mm hmm, okay. Or yes. Yes, no. Can we say parent? I'm not sure. Okay, thank you for being honest. Diana, anyone else? Podemos decir parent? Can we say parent? Or do we have to use parents? Like this one. Hello, I can't, I can't really hear you. Hello. Teacher, I think that parents is only for plurals. Very good. Hello. Yes, you are correct. Very good. Now, it's, it's, it's rare, Diana. It's rare, but it can be used. What happens when we say parent? We're talking about one. It could be the father or the mother. This is not being specific. This is just saying my parent or your legal guardian. Okay. Here, my parents, we're talking about both mom and dad. Okay. When we say parents, we're talking about mom and dad or father and mother. But when we say parent, we're only talking about one. We don't know which one the person is referring to, but it could be the dad or it could be the mother, right? Quizá la persona es viuda, right? Or something like that. Or the child is living with only one parent. The child is living with only one parent, okay? Remember that the word parent has no gender, no right? género, like in Spanish, right? So in English, we can say parent, but we don't know if it's a, uh, a man or a woman. The same way when we say cousin. My cousin is coming to see me. Is it the man, the man or the woman, right? The male or female, we don't know. It depends on how the person expresses themselves. But here you can say parent, okay? Are we clear with parent and parents? Are we clear now? You can use both, si se puede, right? You can. So make note of that in case you probably never have heard of the word parent being used for one. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, All right, great. Just like you said, it's plural. Okay, now let's go back. I just wanted to share this with you so you can get a better understanding of the meaning and the definition of causative verbs. Let's go back to the, to the worksheet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let me see something. I want I want to to focus on this. Okay, force or require someone to take an action, right? Can you this is also in your book, but this is a little bit with a little bit more examples. Can you read please? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Edwin. And then Juan Jose. Okay, make force of or require someone to take an action. Grammar, grammar, grammatical structure. Grammatical. Grammatical structure. Perfect. Make make plus person plus verb base form. Example. After Billy broke the the neighbor's window, 
his parents made him pay for it. Very good. You see the word, it's not make here, it's made, right? Simple past. Made. Very good. Yes. Excellent. So as you can see, like we were talking earlier, you can use it in different tenses. It doesn't have to be make, 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 right? It could be in different tenses. Thank you, Edwin. Very good. Made him. Notice here, lo que le dije temprano, object pronoun, right? Made him, referring to person, right? This is just more information for you to make you analyze it and maybe give you a better comprehension. Juan Jose, can you continue, please? My ex-boyfriend loved sci-fi and made me watch every episode for his favorite show. Of. Mm, of. Episode of. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Juan Jose. Perfect, right? So you have the word in pass also. Uh, let me see, Janari. Okay, teacher. The teacher made all the students rewrite they, they their they paper. There. Because there. Their, 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 their paper. Because the first drafts were not acceptable. Very good. Excellent, right? So you have the the causative verb, and then you have the person, and then the base form of the verb. If you notice here, base form, base form, right? Base form of the verb. In other words, simple tense, right? Continue, please. Um, Abigail, this is just something extra, okay? This is not added to your book. I'm just giving you more information. Abigail, can you read the note? When using the verb force and require, we must use two plus verb. Okay, very good. Okay, this is just extra for you. When you use the actual word, when you use the actual word, remember uh, forzar or requerir, right? When you use these words, you can use them also as a causative verb. But when you use these force, you still be obliga, right? Or you use the word, the verb require. No se usa el base form, se usa el infinitive. All right, two. Continue, please, Abigail. Except the school. The school requires the student to wear uniforms. You see, to wear, okay? Not base form, but to wear. When we use these, okay? This is just a note. Okay, the continue, please, Abigail. The hijacker. The hijacker forced the pilots to take the plane in a different direction. Very good, excellent. You see the word here, force, right? The hijacker forced the pilots to take, to take. You cannot say the hijacker forced the pilots take. The plane to take. The school requires the student wear uniform to wear uniforms. Teacher, what does it mean, hijacker? Ah, uh, uh, hijacker. Okay, hijacker. Um, it's a person que se toma un avión. Right. It, it pretty much. Uh, do you remember the story in the United States, Las Torres Gemelas, that they yes. crashed the planes in the World Trade Centers? Right? Okay. The people that were inside the plane that told the pilot, hey, dame la llave del avión, or I'm going to take over the plane, that is a hijacker. Es un asaltante, pero de aviones. <laughs> okay? That's what it means, a hijacker, right? It's a person that basically takes control of an airplane without authorization. No, no se podría ocupar kidnapping. This, hello, Edwin. No se podría ocupar kidnapping. It's, no. it's not the same. No. No. Kidnapping is when is when the, uh, a person, right? Yes. Yes. A kidnapper is is when you take someone, 
when you take a person, whether it's a child or an adult, you still use the word, uh, you are the kidnapper, right? A noun. And then the verb is kidnapped, all right? Kidnapped. Kidnap. Yeah, that is the verb. And then the noun, the person that is doing the action is called a kidnapper. Do you want me to write it for you? Okay, kidnapper. Yeah, yes, yes, please. Right. This is the the this is the person doing the action. Esta es la persona haciendo la acción, kidnapper. And then the verb, which is this would be a noun. Esto sería un sustantivo, a noun. And the verb is kidnap. Vamos a si fue en el pasado, right? Vamos a poner con past tense. Kidnapped, that is the verb. That is the action. Okay? Now, Thank you, teacher. just to give you another input, it says hijacker, right? Hi, the hijacker. Okay, this is the noun. Esta es la persona, right? This is the person doing the action, right? Uh, Abigail, you can probably look at this also. And then for the verb, this is the verb, hijacked, in past, right? Past tense. Verb. All right, so if you if the action is hijack, I see it's this present simple hijack. All right, ed is simple past past tense, and this is the verb. For example, when the person takes over the plane, the the hijacker hijacked the plane. All right, so. <laughs> You can see the, the verb and the noun, just like kidnapper and kidnapped, all right? Okay. That is two words that are similar, but one is a verb and one is a noun. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, now... That was make. Let's look at get. Eh, let's look at get. Let me call on Blanca. I haven't heard you for a while. Okay. Get equal, convince, encourage someone to do something. Grammatical structure. Get plus person plus two plus bear. I read the example. Yes, read the first one, please. Okay. Examples. How can we get all the employees to arrive on time? Very good. How can we get and get and then we have the person. Remember, you can add you can add more little words to it to amplify it all the employees to arrive. You have to use the verb in infinitive, all right? We already know that when we use to, we're talking about infinitive, right? To arrive on time, to arrive. The verb is arrive, but we have to use the infinitive when we are using get. And then the person then infinitive, all right? Remember that. Look at all these, they all have the infinitive form. Thank you, Blanca. Let's continue with. Um, Miguel. Yes, teacher. Can you do the next one, please? Um, can you mm -hmm. uh, help me? Mm -hmm. What is the, what I, I read? 
Yes, do the next one. Do the next one, the next sentence uh, where, where your classmate finished. Donde terminó Blanca. I, I don't hear very well the, the Blanca um, because my internet is... is okay, uh, Blanca, can you tell Miguel where to begin, please? Okay, you have to read the second sentence. My husband hates... Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. My husband hates housework. I can never get him to wash the dishes. Ah, very good, very good, excellent, right? My husband hates housework, right? We know this is a woman speaking, right? I can never get him to, to wash, to wash the dishes, right? Very good, excellent, thank you, Miguel. Uh, continue, please. Um, Fabio. Okay, I was nervous. I was nervous about eating sushi, but my brother got me to try it at a Japanese restaurant. Okay, all right. <laughs> got me to try at a Japanese restaurant, right? So here we use get. Remember, I was telling you the tenses, and just like Fabio mentioned, you can change them, right? You can change them. As you can see here is got, right? Got me to try, but the infinitive doesn't change. To try. Very good got me to try, right? Try to encourage or convince him to eat, right? This is another way of speaking when we talk about eating, to try, right? Como cuando uno dice, pruébalo, right? We're talking about eating something, right? Here, try this, right? Taste it, pretty much it. Okay, continue, please. Um, Carlos, can you continue, please? Yes, I can, teacher. Okay, the no, the non-profit got a professional photograph, pho, pho, mm. photographer. Okay, photographer, take, photographer, photographer, photographer to take photos at the event for free. All right, for free, right? Very good, excellent, right? The non-profit. Gotta what is nonprofit? Can someone tell me what is nonprofit? I don't know what does it mean. Okay. Does anyone know when we talk about a nonprofit? What does it signify? What is it referring it's to? It's when a co uh, organization don't expect profits. Very good. Very good. Very good, excellent, good job. A nonprofit organization. That means they do they do everything. There are a lot of organizations all over the world, okay, that are nonprofit. That means that the company doesn't have like a a great amount of income, como ganancias. They don't. They just do everything based on donations, donations from either the government or outside agencies or people, right? That they say, hey, voy a donar esta, esta organización, that is a nonprofit, okay? They do everything out of the kindness of their heart. All right, let's continue. Now, remember that we are focusing on only two, make and get. There are more, okay? We will see some tomorrow also, the part two. Now, let's go back to your, now that I gave you a more detailed information, let's, I want you to do this page, okay? I want you to do, you have the options here, and all you're going to do is, can you read the instructions, please? Let me see what time is it. Let me take the second attendance, that way we don't have to stop. I'm going to take the second attendance. <laughs> okay, second attendance. Uh, Abigail. Present. 
Ok, thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Ok. Carlos. I'm here teacher. Ok, thank you. And Diana. Ok, thank you. Eh, Erwin. Present. Ok, thank you. Flor. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fredis. Present, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Present. All right, great. Iris. Present, teacher. Ok. Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present. All right, great. Jennifer. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Juan Jose. Present, teacher. Okay. Miguel. Present, teacher. All right. Fabio. Present. Okay, great. Rolando. Okay, you sent me a message right now. You're here. Thank you. Okay, I read your your message here on Zoom. Okay, great. Thank you, Rolando. And Janari. I'm here. Okay, we have a hundred percent attendance. Very good. Everyone is here. Perfect. 20 plus me, 21. Perfect. All right, great. Let's continue. Okay, as I was saying, please analyze page 28 of your book or your manual, whichever one you prefer to use, whichever word, manual or book. And I want you to look at page 28. On page 28, you will find this. What I would like for you is do activity number five and try to do number six. Read the instructions, please, for number five. Juan Jose. Okay, use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences. Very good, let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, very good. Use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences. So you have the verbs here. Remember I showed you examples. I gave you the definition. I gave you the purpose, gave you the structure. So all you have to do is uh, look at example number one. Uh, Fredis, can you read example number one, please? Yes. Customer's attention makes companies try every sort of strategies. All right. Sort. Sort. I'm sorry. Sort of strategy. All right. Very good. So we have make and try. Right. But remember, make, if it's third person, right, we use makes. Simple present, right? And if it's past, it's made, and then like we saw earlier. So we have the two verbs here and you have to apply them in the spaces. Do number two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And read the instructions for number six. Um, Jennifer, can you read the instructions please? On number six. Yes, teacher. Top business there in <laughs> okay. It's not there, teacher. Mm. Oh, sorry. No, Read I... the descriptions yes. and unscramble the words. Excellent. I see. Yes, perfect, right? Those are the instructions for number six. Perfect. Read the instruction. It doesn't say instructions, right? It says descriptions. 
read the descriptions and unscramble the words. So look at this. Look at this on number one, brand. Can you continue please at the bottom, the way? Brand, the way people recognize the brand, it may be through the logo or other associate visuals. Associated. Uh, can you please repeat it? No Did problem, you? yes, associated. Associated. associated okay thanks okay. no problem okay so we have brand i'm going to, we're going to do the first one in class this is for number six all right number one what do you think it is brand what can you unscramble the words and figure it out brand identity all right very good All right, brand identity. Identity, very good, 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 excellent. Identity, right? Identity, very good. Brand identity, very good. So this, all you're going to do is unscramble. Unscramble means you try to decipher. You try to try to figure out the letters and make the correct word for number one, and then you continue with number two all the way to five. Okay, now do not send it to me. Please do not send it to me. You will do this on your own and then we will do it in class. Okay, we will do it together. So I'm going to give you uh, a few minutes to finish. When you finish, you let me know. Number six, number five. Excuse me, Juan Jose? Number five. Number five. Oh, you have a question? No. No. If you are going to, to do number five and number six. Both. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Both number five and number six. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back, okay?
<clears throat> Is anyone finished? I'm not to teacher. I'm not yet. Okay, no problem. Chair, I have doubts with the six <clears throat> exercise. I only complete the this number five, <laughs> but I have doubts with with the six. Okay, which have you done? Okay, we did number one together, right? Uh, identity, right? Yeah, the second and the third one, I. I had that that one, but the four, the five, and the two, well, the three. Mm. I don't know what it is. Okay, no problem. We'll do it here in a minute. Number All three, right. Maybe it's special. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me too. It's very difficult. Those those scramble words are very confused. Okay.
Okay, number three, I'm going to, for those of you that are like, hey, number three, right? Um, we saw that. We Is saw it personality? <laughs> personality? Yeah. Uh, I think we saw that, uh, uh, I think we saw that Friday, I think. Right? A little bit uh, in relation to something in particular. You're correct, Yana. Can you repeat it again, Diana? Personality. Very good. All right, let's, uh, Fabio, are you finished? Uh, Fabio, I know some of these can be difficult, like number four and number five, right? But I can tell you this much. Number five, we have seen it also. We saw it in the unit be before also. I think I have number five, but two, three, and four, I don't know. <laughs> the number four? I have okay. I think it's experience. All right. Number two. I have number five. Number yes, four. Is num number two four is experience. Is image. Number two, number image. Yeah. image. Yeah, la imagen de la brand, brand image. Fabio? Image. Yes, brand image. All right, let's. let's number five, indifferential. Yes, yes, that is correct. Let's look at. um. Number one, we saw already. It's already there. Number two, let's do this together. Um, who wants to do number two? Come on, man. Marketing. Marketing helps businesses Marketing helps. to get to get customers to buy products. Okay. Okay, you can use. To get or get or get yes all right okay. they're both remember I had mentioned it to you sometimes you can use both and there won't be a problem right so this one to get customer do we need to send you the exercises no you don't have to uh, Diana okay. tomorrow the ones we will do tomorrow yes the mañana si va a ser activity uh, in class activity. That I will take it to. All oh, you have to do is send it to me. Mm -hmm. All right, the ones for tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. I'm. I want to make sure you understand the causative verbs. That way, for tomorrow, you should be ready for the other two. There are some, right? Um, there are others, but due to to the manual, I will show you those those other two. Maybe I can show you one more extra if you. Have, Okay. Yeah, okay. we have time. Let me see. All right, to buy number three. Uh, Beatriz. Okay. We can make people like our products without the right stra strategy. We can. 
Okay. Can you repeat it, please? We can't. Yes. We can't make people like our products without the right strategy. Okay. Without the right strategy. Very good. Very good, Beatriz. Perfect. Make and like. Okay, for number three. Number four, let me call on Miguel. Okay. Online store gets their loyal customer help with advertising events. Okay, repeat please after customers. Own um, customer help with advertising event. Okay. Is that correct? To help. To, to help. help. To, to help. help. To help. To help. Okay. Remember, Miguel, when we use the get, vea la estructura aquí. Someone infinitive. Yes. The infinitive. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel, for participating. Okay, Thank Carlos. You. Thank you. All right, Carlos, number five. Okay. Let me see. The marketing director make the people to vote for the best ads. Okay. To vote, right? Is that what you said? Repeat it. Carlos. Okay, okay. Let me see. The marketing the marketing director make people to vote for the best ads. Okay, to vote dijo, right? Is that yes. correct? It's just vote. 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 Uh, remember, Carlos, la estructura no es infinitive, okay? It's base form only. So you cannot put the infinity when we use make, all right? So we use in the base form of the verb, but is this correct? Makes. Ah, who said, quien dijo eso, who said that? Me, Janari. Janari, okay. So we add an S, Janari? Yes, makes, because it's the third person. third person. Very good, excellent. Makes, Carlos. Remember, third person, simple present. Simple present. Great teacher. Thank, okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You. All right. Number six is going to be on... Me teacher, if you okay, go. Ask. Yeah, Jennifer, thank you. The business make their employees take constant trainings or market on marketing. Okay. Make and take, right? Make their employees very good because we have plural here, so we use make, not makes. Very good, excellent, perfect. Very good. Now Let's go to the bottom part, the unscramble vocabulary. Let me see. Number one was identity, right? Number two, what is number image. two? Okay, image. Image. Okay, image. okay, but on number two, Janari, can you read, please? Number two. Yes, please. Brand image. The idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect expect from the brand. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Expect from the brand. Very good. That is brand image. Very good. Number three, it's going to be on Diana. Um, Number three is brand personality. Okay, very good. It is the emotional or, or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand. Very good. All right, great. 
Thank you. The next one, number four, Abigail. Yes, number four, uh, brand experience. Okay. A combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing mm. and using that brand. Okay, purchasing, purchasing. Abigail, no? Yes, purchasing. Very good, excellent, perfect. Thank you. All right, that is brand experience. Okay, number five, Fabio. Uh, this is how a brand stands out in the crowd, in the crowd, brand differentiation. Very good, excellent. But I, it's the, the sentence here, the word here has one more T than the, the differentiation, so I was seeing that right now. Mm, you're correct. Yeah, you're but correct. Yes, he's differentiation. Yeah, it just has, yeah, they added another T there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, I was, right now I was like, but this has 17, so yeah, it's one more T. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, not everything is perfect, right? <laughs> so the book has that error. Okay, my advice, si tienen su libro ahí, if you have your book there, go ahead and <clears throat> omit, quítenle una T, all right? That way you don't have it there wrong. So take out one T with your pen and scratch it off. Cut it, delete it, take it off. <laughs> Thank you, Fabio, you're correct. That is correct. It has one more T than it should, right? This is the proper spelling, right? differentiation all right very good very good excellent let me take this off clear Okay, class, we are going to continue. Now, remember, this is just part one, okay? Tomorrow we will see the rest. And for those of you that are probably wondering, we will look at page for tomorrow. We will look at page, um, part two is on page 30 or something like that. So 31, okay? Page 31, we'll look at that for tomorrow if you want to look at it or analyze it we're going to look at help and left for tomorrow and then we will do some more activities and you will do an activity in class and let me get over here real quick okay let's let's relax for a little bit and let me see i'm going to Now, if you're wondering, I want to let you know something. The activity for tomorrow, so you can be ready, all right? Desde ahorita, tomorrow we will do a main activity. Tomorrow, we are going to look at page 31, right? Just to review a little bit. Help and let. That is for tomorrow. So I'm going to write it here, but I want everyone to be aware. Ya que estén pendiente. For tomorrow, we're going to look at help and uh let right the other causative verbs part two but tomorrow we will do an in-class activity using all four okay so be ready for this activity for tomorrow 
where we're going to use all four causative verbs. So just remember that. It's going to be an activity for tomorrow. What type of activity? I'm going to let you know ahead of time. You're going to create, mañana, you're going to create your own, van a crear sus propias oraciones, using all four causative verbs. Make, get, help, and let. So be ready for that tomorrow. You're going to create your own causative verbs, and then I'm going to put you in breakout rooms also. So if you want to get started, you can. If not, you can wait till tomorrow. We can do it in class also. It's going to be a whole sentence using all four words. Yeah. No. It's going to be one. It's going to be using all four causative verbs. In the, for example, you see this sentence right here? The example using make. And then this example using get, like that. Ah, oh, okay. It's going to be just like that. It won't be like all four in the same one because it it won't be it will be totally incorrect if you use all four in one sentence. So you use like for example these right here, long sentences. Van a ser oraciones largas, no like little simple sentences. It's going to be two, four, six, eight at least 10 words per sentence, minimum. Sentences like this, make, and then with get, like these also, okay? Using get in different tenses, if you want to use present simple or simple past, or even present perfect or future, you can use any tense that will be for tomorrow. So be ready for that. Now, let's continue with, with this, um, Let's do a reading activity, all right? This is on page, we're going to advance a little bit. This is the last page of the unit. The last page of the unit, which is page 32, all right? Page 32. If you want to go there, please do. Jarvin, can you begin, please? Okay, teacher, the instruction or the paragraph? The instructions, please. Everything uh, from one to two to the instructions. Describe. Okay. Describe a strategy to make a brand memorable. The article about the importance to begin first to create a memorable brand. Then ask for the question below. Check answer with a partner. Okay. Can you read what makes? Okay. The, I, I start the paragraph. The mm, here, a number one right here. What makes? Okay. What makes a brand memorable? Okay. How, how, effect, how effective is to copy a business idea? All right. So this is, look. How effective is it to copy a business idea? Hmm, right? Is it effective? Or, and then it says, what makes a brand memorable? Right? Creo que es una marca memorable. What makes a brand memorable? Are there memorable brands right now that you're like, you can't forget? Yeah, like Coca-Cola, for example. Yeah, exactly, right? It's old but still in the present and will continue in the future, right? It's like, it doesn't end, right? When it first started, woo! I can't remember when it started. I think the first World War, desde la Primera Guerra Mundial, no, I can't remember, first World War I or World War II, I can't remember, right? But Coca-Cola, right? All right. So, or maybe later, maybe later than that, but, does anyone know of another brand, a memorable brand that it was, is, and probably will still be? Toyota. Okay, Toyota. Very good, right? Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's, um, what we are going to do is, I'm going to put you 
in pairs. I'm going to put you in pairs. And then you're going to do the reading together. You're going to read the, the article together. So let me, uh, let me take a picture of it. Let me go to the WhatsApp group so you can have it and you can share screen also. All right. Okay. There you have it. Okay, let me make sure you are able to share screen. And I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Okay, anyone here that cannot do the activity in pairs? Alguien aquí que no puede hacer la actividad en pares. Please let me know so I do not put you with someone that they're going to be talking by themselves. Anyone here? Rolando, are you able to do this activity with a pair? Okay. Diana, are you able to do this activity? Okay, Predis. Okay, Beatriz. I do I would like to do in party. Okay, Miguel. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay. Yanari. Great. Yanari. Yes. All right. Blanca. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Dígame, Yanari. Mm, I have a, a, a doubt in a paragraph. Okay, no problem. I will enter. Is it a word or something? Yeah, synonymous. I think all oh, synonymous. What? What? Uh, In the second paragraph. Synonymous. Synonymous. Yes. Thank you. All right. Very good. Flor, can you do this activity? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Fabio. Yes. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Yes. Francisco. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jarvin. Yes, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Yes. Okay, Iris. Yes, I can, teacher. Okay, Glenda. Yes, I can. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, Rolando? Okay, no answer. Brenda? Okay, no answer. Entonces se quedan conmigo. The rest will go in groups. If you answer yes, I will put you in pairs. If you didn't answer, you will stay with me. All right, let's continue. Thank you for answering. Let me see, I will assign manually. Okay, tengo dos que no respondieron. All right. Blanca, you will be with um, Flor. Room number two, all right. Diana, you are going to be with Iris. Fredis, you are going to be with Beatriz. Carlos, you're going to be with Edwin. 
Francisco, you're Wait, going you to think? be with Glenda. Jarvin, you are going to be with Fabio. Jackie, you are going to be with um, Jennifer. And Miguel, you are going to be with Okay, with Rolando and no, Rolando, no, he didn't answer. Let me take him out. Move to Okay, Miguel, you are going to be with Jessica Janari. Okay. Okay. All right. So Miguel and Janari. All right. You are going to break out rooms. One, two, three. Do the activity and answer the questions in pairs. You have 15 minutes. Hello, Brenda, Rolando, can you hear me? Can you send a message through Zoom to let me know if you can listen to me? Okay, no answer. Okay. You know, to find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the the first to put into your into your prospect mind. You okay. Yes. Netflix would have never made it a riff hasting idea has been to open a bunch of stories to complete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of bluff Blockbuster was firmly established, established in the mind minds. Most pros, minds, minds of most prospects as the go-to play, place to rent movies. that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to 
place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay. Who offered the concept of memorable, memorable? Okay. Rent? Memorable. 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 Yes, so very good. The connection, it's it's about I have back connection. Memorable. Who of into, into your prospect mind with the same perception you had hoped to create. You find it's, it's, it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix will have never made, never made it if Reed has has since idea had been to open a bunch of stores to com to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firm, firmly, firmly, Fir firmly, uh, firmly, 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 firmly. 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 Teacher, a spell. Hello? Hello? How do you say? Okay. Firm. Diga firm. From? Lee. Firmly. That's a very good. Firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the to go place to rent movies. Netflix you have hope to create you'll find it is hard to push them out I, I don't know what do you think I think that is that is yeah. the, the, the answer that we have underlined? So that would be, we have to be the first one to put in your trusted mind. Yes, I, I think that is. Teacher, we're trying to answer number three. Okay. So we're reading right there where she put a, where, where she underlined it. Okay, let me see what you underlined. A better plan to pick a different perception. Uh, so continue. There you go. Perfect. Very good. That is the correct answer. Yes, that is uh, the, be uh, the better alternative, right? It has the word better here. A better plan is the same as saying a better alternative. So very good analysis. This is called reading comprehension. All right, very good. Perfect. to push them out. Okay. I didn't find the answer of this question. If you want to let's pass to question uh, to question number four. If okay. we can see. Uh, Sorry, Carlos. Okay. Yes. What do you say? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand. What did you, you say? You didn't understand. Yes, yes. Oh, you do understand the question. Yes. 
Okay, let me read it again the question. It says, well, question number three. Yes. What is a better alternative to creating the perception of an already existing product? You say the answer is in the second paragraph. While I was yes. reading, and actually I couldn't find them too. Uh, yes, it's in the second paragraph. It is, right, teacher? Yes, it's in the second paragraph. Remember that when we talk about um, mm -hmm. a better alternative, we're talking about a, a better plan, a, a different idea, all right? Yes. So, a better plan is to pick a different perception. Exactly, that's correct. And continue, no, no, eso, continue, right? Okay, thank you. All right? And then you continue the whole sentence. That is correct, Carlos. Yes. yes. All right. As to get to place to bring movies or lights. That was new. No. That was new. Yes. Okay. Side the step. What? After next, please. Side the step and something like that. No, for side the step, they. Um... Uh -huh. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, in this in this case, with the pumper is. And uh, and the product we we mm -hmm. say yes. not yes. not we say. Uh, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but we can, Jennifer. <laughs> okay. And now the question. Right? Okay. Yes. Um, if you want, we can read one by one. Yes, uh, yeah, one by one, but each each one. Each okay. one for person. No, one for person and then we answer together. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. We didn't finish. Ah, okay. Who finished? Yeah. Who finished? We finished. Okay, sure. Carlos, you finished. All right. Who else finished? Anna is ready. Okay. Anna. All right. What about you, Fabio? Did y'all finish? I think you were working on number five. Yes, we finished too. Yes, you finished also. Okay. So there were some that didn't finish, right? Uh, probably some, but we're going to do it right now. Really, the time is up, right? <laughs> the time is up. It's almost uh, 10 o'clock, right? So we're going to just look at it together briefly. All right. 
now we're not we're not finished with the um let me see we're not finished because tomorrow we're going to do the next part also where it says right here think of another part three and then part four we're going to finish that tomorrow but let's look at the first ones let me see who offered the concept of memorable branding? Who offered it? The marketing it? strategies, Alrise and Jack Trout. Trout, Trout, right? All right, yes. Mm -hmm. So let me write this. All right. So number one will be Al Rice, right? And Jack. And Jack Trout. All right, that would be number one. All right, what about number two? It's for three Phoenix Zeros, another <laughs> brand. All right. <laughs> Scott, Phoenix, and so forth, right? Sure. Kleenex, right, with a double E. All right, and uh, Xerox. Okay, those are just some. Then what about number three? What is a better? It's a better plan is to pick up to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. All right, very good, very good. And that is over here. Let me put this over here. That is over here. Better plan to pick a different perception, right? So let me go oh, no, right here. This right here. Right. All this. Right. That you can be very good, very good. That is number three. All right. What about uh number four? Let's just say, what would have happened if Reed had not had opened Vena Video Stores instead of innovating the service? What do you think would have happened? They wouldn't be the big company that they are now because at that time, Blockbuster was already an established business with a computer with the same with the same uh, prospect with the same prospect. Uh, happen to appear, I think they will have the same chance chance as a, uh, against them only if they change their perception as Netflix did. Very good, excellent. This was more of your idea, although it gives you a little bit here in the last paragraph, right? Here, they give you a little bit of understanding of what Fabio just said, right? Very good, very good. So all you have to do is read between the lines and then give your own opinion. Basically, it's already here, the, the facts, right? Just like Fabio just said. Very good, very good, excellent. What about number five? What did Netflix do differently? Innovated in something that it could be the first and then and a new product in the market. Very good, very good. Innovation, very good. Anything else? Anything else? I think offer the same saver, the same service, but in a different way. So he changed the perception of the customers. He offered rent videos, but online. You don't have to go to the stores and rent a video. Imagine nowadays the VCR or DVD disappear, so you had to to watch films or movies online. You don't need to go out. Very good, excellent. So basically, something like what Beatriz just said, perfect, and it's right here also in the last paragraph, last sentence, right? By creating a perception of itself as a go-to place to rent movies, and then if you add your own also, your own perspective, like Diana said, innovation, right? Very good. That is basically the answers. Perfect. Well done. 
Now, for tomorrow, we're going to look at part two, like I mentioned earlier, but we are also going to do this. Right, can you see this? Your turn. You're going to look for a successful product or service. We created a new perception. In other words, an innovation, like Diana said, and also uh, something like Beatriz said on the last one, online, something that progressed, something new. Think of a product. We're going to do that tomorrow also this part and you're going to share your ideas with another pair so I'm going to put you in pairs with pairs see what I'm saying you're going to speak with another group in the class not another class but here within the group all right don't think you're going to be somewhere else all right so be ready for that tomorrow and let me see I'm going to do the last attendance final great job final attendance, and then we can finish. But today, the person that that stays today is, um, this is class number 19. So, Rolando, you stay, but you haven't said anything today. I don't know if you can talk or you're working, but let me see. Okay, attendance, Abigail. Okay, Abigail. Okay, see sí, Abigail. Okay, no answer. Uh, Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay, <laughs> Brenda. All right, I know she's here, but. Okay, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, great. Hey, Glenda, that's your son? <laughs> Who's that? Yes, he's my baby. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me see. Edwin. Present teacher. All right, let me see. Flor. Present. Okay, Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Redis. All right. Thank you. All right. Great. Glenda. Okay. Glenda. Present. Okay. Great. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. I'm here. All right. Great. Thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay, no answer. Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Fabio. Present. All right, great. Rolando, you already said present on your text. And Janari. I'm here. Okay, great. Okay, uh, um, okay, class, good night. Thank you for all your participation today. And I see you tomorrow. Okay, I already gave you a, a rundown of everything that we will see tomorrow. So good night. And I see you tomorrow. Be prepared. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.